Woodworking is a very satisfying hobby. I think you're going to enjoy building something like this. I think it's a, the best way to learn is to build from a pre-cut kit because all the heavy machinery work is done. Uh, some of the parts are pre-drilled like this but they're accurately pre-cut and the angles on the edges of the wood are, are already correct. And so what you're doing is putting in the labor where somebody else has done the machinery type work, which is uh, the, the thing that's hard to operate is all those uh, heavy machines. So it's a great way to get started and uh, I would suggest that the first thing you do when you open your kit is to take the directions and look at the parts list. Make sure you have everything that's listed on the parts list. And if there's any problem, uh, give us a call. And we'll be happy to take care of it. Um, this one, <clears throat> this harp, we're going to start by building the frame, which is uh, two sides and the bottom and the top. So well, here's how we'll start. We'll lay out the sides. And then we'll test the base to see how that fits. Now, there's a little letter F uh, drawn, written right on the front face of the bottom piece. And so that has to go toward the front of the heart. And the front of the heart uh, is the longest part. And so I'm going to take a little masking tape here. So we can check the fit. Here. Now we have the parts in the right position. Uh, you can see how the joints are pretty good here. And we'll just uh, get ready to drill pilot holes for our screws. So I'm going to take the uh, smaller drill bit that's included in the kit. It's the uh, eighth inch size. And put it in my uh, uh, cordless drill. And I'm going to go through the pilot hole, I mean through the uh, pre-drilled hole in the base, and drill a pilot hole for the screw. Now that our pilot holes are drilled, we can take the parts apart, remove the tape here. So they'll go through. And we're going to put glue in the uh, in the joint. How much glue? I like uh, a couple of beads across the the surface where the parts will join. There's one uh, ledge here that gets glued also, and I'll do both sides. There's enough glue here so a little will get squeezed out. Make sure I've got this frame upside down and so my front is going to go down. I'll just do one side first. I'm using a number two Phillips driver. Draws the parts nicely together, and we'll do the same over here. And you can see there's a little glue squeezing out here, so I'll use my damp rag and clean the excess off. Take it off my tabletop also, so I don't make a mess there. Then I can turn the whole piece around. There's a little excess glue on the inside here, but I'm not too concerned about that. 
I can wipe a little with my finger, but it won't show on the finished instrument, so I'm not too worried about having a little there. I like to uh, scrub it nice and clean on the outside of the harp because uh, sometimes wiping over just once leaves some residue. It dissolves it a little bit, but it thins it down, but it leaves some residue. Before we put the front or back onto the frame here, we need to glue a block on the inside of the base. And that's going to be for the pillar of the harp, the post that holds up the, the uh, curved neck. Uh, it'll be fastened to this. Now, it's important that we mark uh, the smallest surface here. You'll notice the shape of this piece. The, the uh, smaller uh, surface is what's going to get glued and screwed down to the base. And then this sloped side is going to go toward the front. So I'll put an F there. And then we need to find the center of this piece. So we'll take a little tape measure and mark the center. We're also going to mark the center here. And then there's a little uh, spacer uh, that's going to be used later in the project uh, to fill a gap. And we're going to use that as a tool here to uh, position the, uh, this bigger block in the right spot. So I'm going to take some tape, put it on the spacer, and I'm going to line up the spacer on the center right on the edge of the front uh, of the base piece, like that. And then this block with the F facing forward is going to go right up against that and centered. That's where this piece has to go. So we'll use our uh, eighth inch drill again, the small drill bit, and we're going to drill through, and I'll show you from this side, we're going to drill through from the bottom into that block. Try to keep it in the right place here. So now we have two holes in this block for, uh, for screws. Let's we'll take our uh, number two Phillips driver and a couple of those inch and five eighths screws and we'll get them started here and then I'm just going to put glue on the uh, surface that I marked with an X and I'm going to make sure that my F for front faces forward here and then we can uh, We can put these screws in. There, so now we have this block in place where it belongs to receive the bottom of the pillar.